Portsmouth is home to a thriving university, the winners of the 2008 FA Cup final, the Royal Navy, and of course the band of Her Majesty's Royal Marines. It's also the home of some established communities and none more so than that in North End. The people care about their area. How long have you lived in the area? All my life, 80 years. <laughs> 80 years? Mm. And it's a good community? Yeah. yeah, Yeah. no trouble. I've just come in, I had a nice cup of coffee in here and everything, so apart from that now it's very nice. But North End needs an uplift in its fortunes, and that has begun. Well, I'm delighted to say the council agreed to invest 400,000 because it is an important centre of the community. Uh, 400,000 widens pavements, creates a better environment for shoppers, uh, and does all the basic things that start improvements to the area. There's much more to be done, there's much more of the softening of the environment. We just created the infrastructure, so to speak. We now need to invest in businesses and develop things. One of the things we'd like to see in North End, and have been requested on many occasions, is a, is a market. And we're looking at a monthly market, which could be either in the uh, car park at the back of the uh, cooperative, or maybe in Ashling Road. Sadly, the economic downturn and competition from more up-to-date locations have hit the North End area a little hard. Empty shops are looking for entrepreneurs, and those entrepreneurs are looking for a bit of support. One of the main priorities on the bid is looking at creating pop-up shops within vacant units. And in a nutshell, what that means is um, having the um, availability for small businesses to start up. Um, someone wanting to move out who's maybe worked at home and is just starting up their business, we're looking at giving them the opportunity to come in into a unit and work in clusters with other like-minded entrepreneurs to feed off each other's uh, capabilities, um, resources and expertise and grow themselves until they're able to t move out into their own retail units. Um, Start-up funding is critical for small businesses. Um, as part of the bid, we're also looking at having a pot of money set aside to help businesses start up. Um, in a sense, it's a grant to help them get on their feet and get moving in the right direction. And that's imperative to them being able to move forward. Given the potential this area has, there are quite a few ideas and opportunities which could help renew the image, environment and vibrancy of North End. All you've got to do is look uh, down North End and you'll see uh, loads of empty shops and uh, no, that's not very good because people won't come down to the, this sort of area and shop. Years ago, before I came here, we had Marks and Spencers, proper retail outlets. Yeah. I mean, we, we had, uh, well, we, we, we had like green grocers, we had the independent shops. Yeah. People, instead of like charity shops, which we're left with now, we're left with like pound plastic shops uh, and there's a lot of fast food outlets which is, isn't what we, we don't need that. We've already got some great um, independent businesses that do deliver some great service already in place um, so we want to use some of those as best practice to say look you know, go and look at this, this business here they're doing really well um, and they're doing really well because their service is really good um, but we want to then put into place a whole training scheme um, for young people and for older people that are currently unemployed in, in the area um, and specifically on those customer services skills. We want to help coach business owners on how to display their products better, get people in, make their, their windows more attractive um, and the whole offer within the shop more attractive so people will want to come back. But life in any community has to include fun and here they're about to be entertained. We'd like to use the arts to regenerate the area so you can bring in artists, local artists to use empty shops, um, do things like flash mobs where you see dance popping up out of the blue um, but most importantly we understand that there is local talent and it would be really lovely to nurture that local talent so that they can learn new skills um, street art skills and so when there's a market you might get some people doing stilt walking or um, a band playing and sort of embrace what's happening already in the area and take it further and we believe that North End we could use the arts to help take things further and actually regenerate the area. North End used to be one of the prime areas of Portsmouth but has suffered a decline despite the efforts of the local people. Now though they have support in high places 
like at Westminster. This area has done so much with no money. Um, we've just regenerated last summer Stamshaw and Tipner Community Centre. But actually we need to get money into this area. And it's an area that if you put a little bit of money in, you get an awful lot back. Um, and we really want North End to be really brought up to standard. We want people to come here, to shop here, to really enjoy the environment. And historically it's been a bit grotty. Um, the traders have been a bit fed up <laughs> with what they've got. And we want to change all of that. So Not this is now. really good. Look, it's starting to look Yeah, lovely, it's scrubbing it? up really well. And local people really notice that. When I'm out and about, I get lots of comments about how nice it is looking. Um, but we need to do a bit more. Um, and I'm really, really hopeful that we, we actually get this money in. Um, I think it's going to be really critical to, to getting the area where it needs to be. It would be great if we could get the money. Then we could all be here a little bit longer. A little really does go a long way when the community is working together. And nowhere is that more apparent than here in North End in the city of Portsmouth.